Hey David, thanks for joining me on another DBL informational video about law and stuff. Today we're going to talk about appeals because appeals can be confusing. They're different than a trial. They're different than other parts of a court case, other parts of law. So David, what is an appeal? Let's start there. This issue number one. Right. Well, in general sense, appeal is whenever a appellate court or a secondary court reviews a decision of a trial court typically. Um, but there are certain rules and restrictions on that. It's not a do-over. It's not a retrial in most cases. So you're not um, calling the same witnesses to testify again. You're not putting on that factual evidence again. The uh, purpose of the appeal is really to decide whether the first court got it right or made some sort of error. Which leads us to grounds for appeal. So we know an appeal is not a retrial and you're not going to have new witnesses. You're stuck with the facts that you had at the jury, in front of the jury or in front of the judge, in front of the fact, finder of fact. An appellate court is not a finder of fact. They're an arbiter of law. So you need grounds for an appeal. That means you need an error made by the judge or an error made by the other side or an error made by the jury. Very rarely, and I've had clients ask me this, you know, my lawyer didn't do a good job. I mean, potentially that's grounds for appeal, but very rarely is that a successful grounds for appeal. You need some plain error, some clear error that was made in the lower court, uh, either of law or an admission of a fact into the record or something like that. Uh, so what's the third thing you need to be aware of for appeals? And very important thing. Yeah, this one's huge. It's the deadlines, of course. Usually there's a pretty short deadline. Often it's as short as 30 days where you have to file your notice of appeal after the jury verdict or the final order in the case below. And if you don't do that, you're out of luck. No appeal for you. So there's no do-over. No, there's no like, I'm sorry, my dog died or I was in the hospital or I had a car crash. If that happens, and you don't file within that deadline, you lose your appeal automatically. You have no chance to go back in time. So when we say deadline, we mean strict deadline. So the fourth thing is appellate briefs. Now, uh, David, let's talk about appellate briefs. What is special about appellate briefs? Well, as we were talking about, the appeals court is not gonna retry uh, the facts. So the appellate briefs are based on what's called the record, which is a giant, document containing all of the documentation, all of the witness testimony from the trial below. And so the appellate brief is going to argue based on that record, based on those facts that are already in place as to whether the trial court made it. Which will be in the appendix. So usually you have to submit this massive thing before your appeal briefs called the appendix and the parties have to agree what goes in the appendix. And usually it's the almost the entire trial court record, the exhibits, the testimony of all of the witnesses, all of this, and it's a massive document. So a thing to know about appellate briefs is they aren't simple, they aren't easy, uh, and it's not a simple product. It's a big undertaking. It's almost as big, if not bigger in some ways, as a trial, because an appellate lawyer has to go back through everything the trial lawyer did and see what happened that was wrong. So I think that's, that's the thing to know about appellate briefs. David, what about an appellate court's decision? What, how does that work? So, it, so you lost your trial and you're like, crap, I lost my trial, but the judge was wrong on this piece of law and I've got a good appeal. And you appeal to the fourth circuit or whatever circuit you're in, if you're in federal court, or you appeal to the court of appeals, if you're in state court and they rule against you. Is there anything you can do? Yeah. Well, there, there might be a right for further appeal. Oftentimes okay. there's, a, you know, everybody's heard of the U.S. Supreme Court. If I go up to the fourth circuit, there's and nine people on that court. You may have heard this. Yep. Yep. That's very familiar. So yeah, oftentimes there's route for additional appeals. But I think of what a lot of people don't understand too is that um, the appellate decision isn't just, yes, they got it right or no, they got it wrong. It could be very nuanced. It could be they got this point right, but they were wrong on attorney's fees. And then the results too could differ. Uh, the appeals court might render a decision that ends the case, but they might send it back to the trial court and say, oh. remand. We'll do a remand and we'll want a retrial on this one issue. We'll have to call fact witnesses again, or it could be a retrial of the entire case. So that's a good point. So while an appeal is not a retrial, if the appellate court finds an error, they could order a retrial at the fact finding court in the district court, in the lower court. And, and so the point David's making is that even if you lose your appeal, there is another level to appeal to. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court does not often grant what's called certiorari or grant cert. So they do not hear many cases. So you can appeal to the higher court, to the Supreme Court of your state or to the Supreme Court of the United States if it's a federal case, but it 
pretty unlikely they're going to hear a case if the appellate court has ruled one way or the other. So that's kind of our summary. What you need to know, five fast facts about appeals. Thanks for joining us.